Hey there, I'm Ryan, Principal Product Designer for Avid Live Sound. Uh, just wanted to show you some of the new stuff we're showing today at NAMM. This is the new 24C. This is already released and available today. Over here we've got the 16C coming to you soon, but you can come and check it out today. In addition to that, we're showing a bunch of new features, uh, tech preview of Venue 6.1. Um, some of the features include being able to redundantly record from two machines at once. So one laptop or computer can plug into port C, a second laptop can plug into port D, and you can redundantly record up to 128 channels at 96K with just an Ethernet cable. Additionally, we added a new button to the Surface called Attention on Fader. This button will place any attention channel right here, which gives you incredibly quick access to anything on the Surface. Press the thing, shows up here, and the parameters for it are right here. If I want to get to another channel, I can just scroll, grab it, the other channel shows up immediately. So to make it disappear, press it again, you're back to normal. Another feature that we've added to this system is VCAs as trims for aux sends. So if I go into sends on faders for a mix, this is now my drum mix. But I can take my drum VCA and affect the entire mix with just one fader. So if I have an artist who says, I need more drums in my ears, rather than trying to manage 16 faders at one time and push them up, I can take the one. If they ask for more bass, I can take my two bass mics and my bass DI right there. Same thing for any other VCA. And exit out of sends on faders, and they're back to being normal VCAs. In addition to that, the encoder assign button on the desk is now fully functional. Encoder Assign allows the user to do a custom vertical channel strip. In order to work, press and hold Encoder Assign, the target flashes in red. If I want to go to a target a different strip, I just touch it. When I want to assign it, I can just go over here and touch the channel, or touch the parameter I want to assign, it shows up immediately. I can touch another thing, go to a different parameter, touch to assign it immediately. Hit OK, it is saved. And anytime I want to get to that custom channel strip, I just press encoder assign, I get that custom channel strip. Press it again, exits right out. One of the other features we added is to make the external view a little bit more usable. The aux sends view on here is not particularly helpful. It's more just an indication. But now if you just touch anywhere there, you get a fully expanded view of all the auxes where you can turn on and off any aux, control level, and have incredibly quick access to all of the auxes. You can even filter them by color, or filter them by favorite, or filter them just by what's on. So only the important ones show up immediately. And you just press in the corner to exit out of that view. And you're back to the regular version. I think that's all the new stuff. Oh, there's one more new thing. We also added a function pad app. This function pad app is an iOS app that allows a user to remotely access 128 function keys. We increase the number of function keys to trigger any events available in the console remotely from an app. And that could be anything from changing the view on the console to turning on and off effects. You could even hand this to an artist and have an artist turn on and off effects mid-show if you wanted to. Uh, it's always dangerous to give an artist that much control, though. But I believe that's all the new stuff for Venue 6.1, and these are the new products. Feel free to come down to the Avid booth at NAMM and check them out.